have for you now is 330-766-2215, and that's to get a hold of us. Brandon, let's do your Sesame Street across the bottom. 330-766-2215. Okay. What was it, like a tail on it? That's like way over there. <laughs> the um, you can Just call us. You can call us, and we'll debate you. We'll, we might even call you. It, put you on the it doesn't matter what you call about or leave a message. You, you for. can call about anything you want. Period. Just leave a message if we don't answer. Sports related. And if it's sports related, if it's worth calling you back, we will. We would, and we'd like to do it live on air so we can debate you and everybody no. get to watch it. You can tune in and listen to yourself. Thanks for checking us out of here at Three Point View. And we've been talking about quarterbacks lately. Who's getting jobs? Who's not getting jobs? Uh, even AJ McCarron got his job in Buffalo. There's a man out there with a cannon. Who took a knee last year, but somehow he still doesn't have a job. Year before last. Year before last, I'm sorry. Yeah, and uh, it's been that long. It has been that long. A $100 million contract, correct? Yeah, quick. Walked away from it. Walked away from a $100 million contract. Yeah. Was He ro- He was Rolling Stone's Man of the Year? Yeah. Time Magazine. Time, Time, Time Magazine. Magazine. Okay. Time Mag, my fault. Time Magazine's Man of the Year. Citizen of the Year. Citizen of the Year. So... When does this stop? When does he come back? Like, he's still young. He's when 30. does Colin Kaepernick come back? Yeah, he's 30 years old. He's not getting any younger. That's the, that's one of the biggest problems that I see. Um, he need, they Somebody needs to give him a shot. Um, mm-hmm. the, the fact that they're giving other players possible potential shots and he's not getting a shot is got to be the biggest black eye on the league, period. <clears throat> um, I mean, his, his stats for his... Last year playing weren't bad. I mean, it was like eighteen touchdowns, I mean, six picks, four four picks, so sixteen like touchdowns. I mean, uh, uh, completion percentage almost sixty percent. I mean, yard per attempt. Yeah, that. like it was. Up it, there. it wasn't bad. He played on a terrible team. Like mm-hmm. I, I watched every game. It was it was rough to watch, but it wasn't no. his fault. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why or who's going to give him a chance, but somebody has to give him a chance. What I mean, kills me about this whole thing with Colin Kaepernick, talented player. I wasn't a Colin Kaepernick fan. No, you weren't. Right? You nowhere near a fan of Colin Kaepernick. Rode my ass about the whole time. Right? Well, nowhere near a fan of Colin Kaepernick. But he was still a solid football player. He mm-hmm. still has skills out there. Yeah. And you're going to give Sam Bradford <laughs> $20 million. Over a healthy. And you can't bring a healthy, talented Colin Kaepernick onto your squad. Like, he would have done wonders in Arizona. Absolutely. And you're going to give Bradford $20 million and then Mike Glennon another mm-hmm. seven? Mm-hmm. Like, you guys in Arizona, you are ruining Larry Fitzgerald's twilight years of his career. You're going to bring in Larry Fitz, or Sam Bradford and Mike Glennon. Okay, so think about this. Sam Bradford goes down third game of the year. You bring in Mike Glennon. What are you doing? What are you doing? You have Colin Kaepernick out there who can take you to the playoffs with Larry Fitzgerald. And on top of that, guess who else is out there? Anquan Bolden. You can go pick up Anquan Bolden. Reunited Arizona, you really suck right now. So you good. really suck right now. You are blowing this opportunity for you and your fan base and ownership. There's- sign Colin Kaepernick. Sign Anquan Bolden. Get rid of Bradford and Glennon. But nah, too late for that now. Now your season's ruined. Good luck. There's so many teams that actually made this exact same mistake last year. I mean, exactly. Deshaun Watson going down last year, and they played mm-hmm. Tom Savage. And you I, still I mean, had a chance at the playoffs. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh-huh. You can't tell me that you couldn't have formulated something with Kaepernick right. to, to put be, put better stats on the field than what mm-hmm. Tom Savage mm-hmm. did. I mean, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's it's terrible to actually watch this go on. It blow it blows my mind. All these teams that need quarterbacks, like for example. Arizona needed a quarterback. Buffalo, looking for a quarterback, right? And you get A.J. McCarron, unproven, but you sign him anyways. Nope. You know, cheap price, but yet you still sign him anyways. Colin Kaepernick will come play for you guys for free. Damn near. At this he point, will come play for you guys for free just, just to, to prove, prove a point. Just to just prove, to prove a point. Yeah. All right? I mean, who else yeah. is out there that needs quarterbacks? Uh, Miami's not sold on Tannehill. You know, Kaepernick can go down there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the Jets. The Jets. The Jets. That's another one. But Woody Johnson, he ain't going to have that. He's not a risk taker. It's just not going to happen. And it's so ridiculous. The quarterbacks that are being signed to this amount of money, 
that aren't anywhere near talented as Colin Kaepernick. It's just it's disgusting. I thought it was gonna, disgusting. I thought it was going to happen last year with Baltimore. I did yeah. think I thought if anybody was going to give him a shot when Eli went down right. and they had that conversation and then suddenly it just Eli? didn't. You mean not Eli? I mean Joe Flacco. Yeah, I'm sorry. Flacco. You guys, you guys know him. Same guy, different beautiful jersey. <laughs> but either way, when he went down, I thought with with John Harbaugh being there and right. the relationship with Jim and Colin, I thought that mm-hmm. was going to be the perfect landing spot for him, and, and it, it didn't it didn't formulate. Um, I don't know who's going to take a chance on him, but I know one thing for damn sure: somebody better take a chance on him before Manziel gets his foot in the door. If yeah, Manziel, absolutely. If Johnny absolutely. Manziel gets his way back in the NFL before mm-hmm. Colin Kaepernick gets back in the NFL. That is the biggest crock of shit I've ever seen or right. heard of. Right. I just don't see why there's so many people saying because he took a knee that he's disrespecting America and that they're no longer going to watch the NFL. Right. Where's the other side of the switch of they're disrespecting him and blackballing him? So mm-hmm. now I'm not going to. Well, watch he the just NFL. went to court yesterday uh, for the coll- collusion, collusion thing with uh, McNair from the Texans. Robert Kraft was told to come. You know, so he's he's in the process of doing that right now with the whole collusion Which is thing. a part of the reason why I believe that he's yeah, I mean, all the, I mean, they're, they are they're, literally, I mean, it's plain as day. Yeah. I mean, plain as day. Yeah. I mean, the fact uh, that he's actually, I mean, he was being colluded on before it took place, but I think that's why it's being so much more hardcore. It's mm-hmm. not, nobody's even looking at him. At least at one point, there was teams bringing him in. Baltimore was bringing him. They're not right. even doing that. Yeah, a visit with Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. would be the perfect landing spot behind Russell it's, Wilson. It's, as far as... But he's not, he's a, not backup. a backup. He's not he's a backup. He's not a backup. He, he shouldn't be a backup. I, don't, I would understand for... He, I don't even Fuck, care. I mean, we're from Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. I don't you even know care. What I mean? like, even, if you brought, even if you brought him in for a backup, at right. least show some good faith right. that you're... Like right. giving the man a damn chance. Like right. right now, just sitting there watching him put out videos of him chucking a ball sixty yards is irritating it's like to everybody sad. in the damn country. It's like sad. It's like God. Like dude is so talented. And granted, I'm not a huge Colin Kaepernick fan as a player, but he has he's got good enough stats to be a starter, quality starter somewhere. And you give Picks Patrick all this money, and you don't Pick give Patrick. and you don't give Kaepernick this money. You give. Wheelchair Bradford, 20 men, and you don't give Kaepernick a chance? You give Case Kim, an unproven player, $18 million with Denver, but you can't give Kaepernick a chance? What is wrong? That is absolute it's, collusion. It's kind of sad to me that in the civil rights movement, we had Muhammad Ali, who got stripped of his title mm-hmm. and had to sit out and for how many years for you know not fighting in the war. Right. But you think with all the progression we've made through all these years that it would be different by now, but it's like mm-hmm. seems like it's the same. It's not the same story, but it's the same well, tactics as far as black. Uh, un- well, unfortunately, some of the owners in the NFL are just too damn old. I mean, you got your average age of an NFL owner is ninety eight, like, like seventy. It's like a seventy year old Tom owner. Benson that's from the, the average passed away. That's the average age. So you're, you're looking at some old ass and, and majority old of, money. Oh, and they have their beliefs. Until, old and, ass white men. Old ass white men, exactly. Until Just until saying. until that shit fades out, right. you're not gonna get. I was honestly, I would love for Diddy to land if he could pull off the Carolina. Carolina mm-hmm. I mean, they don't need Cap in Carolina, right. but his his exact words were, you know, I, it would be one of my first moves would be right. to sign him. Well, give him a chance. But honestly, Bring that was in. one of his first moves. Not that, to say, <laughs> yeah, it was, he shouldn't have because they have to vote him in as an owner, right. and that could definitely work against him. Yeah, so and that's sad that that. Is the case? It is. So, tell me what's going on with Eric Reed now. Eric Reed, my friend, uh, I love you, brother. I really do. Um, done a lot for San Fran. I what's need, the jersey number? Uh, Twenty-five. Thirty-five. 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 Sorry, twenty-five. So, love you, brother. Yep. Yeah, okay. Either way. <laughs> Listen, it's you were day three into free agency. Day three, and you started saying that nobody was calling you because it was collusion. Collusion is actually going on. You didn't get cut. They weren't getting ready to get rid of you when you were in San Fran. Keep your damn mouth shut. Because the more attention you bring to this, the more likely you are to be blackballed. That's what's going on with Cap right now. Everybody's got all eyes on him. The moment he gets signed by somebody, it's going to be an atom bomb going off in the sports world. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth. Somebody will give you a look at it. Don't start playing into it because that's exactly what's going to happen to you. That's all I had to say about it. I agree completely. I don't think he should say anything at this point. At this point, like, give it three weeks. 
you know, not three days. No, you know, that was way too give, early. Give it it was weeks. way too early to pull the trigger on because that. you are talented. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, extremely talented. Absolutely, and you're a solid. You're a starter. Everything like that. Don't start this because you're really gonna run your own self into the back corner. Free yeah, agency goes gonna... for quite a while. There's gonna be right. signing free agencies right. after the draft, even. There's I mean, gonna be it's... injuries to the safety position during training camp, and yeah. you know you still have the chance to be signed from there. Don't, and, and he will don't feed he into will it. If he can keep don't his feed damn into mouth it. Shut. But I mean, it's already out there now, so you know. If Kaepernick came out and said he was no longer kneeling. He already did that. He already did. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. So he, he, he did, did that the year last year. So he, he did. Being so, so, and then on top of that, they came up with uh, the eighty-nine million dollar that Eric Reed was involved in. Yeah. The eighty-nine million dollar uh, thing from the like NFL. A, yeah. To where they're going to give to charity. Charity you know, towards yeah. You know, players association. So they came up with that, and Eric Reed was a part of that, and Eric Reed also part of it. left that. Because he said Malcolm Jenkins mis- mis- they didn't lie, but misled him. And he said, if misleading is also lying, then he lied to me. So Because he wasn't on a conference call with the NFL about it. And that was a slap in the face. Because, you know, with the money they actually put forward. But that also forward, leads to where it, he's at right now. Ab- Well, I know that. I'm just talking about the NFL, the money they, they paid into it. Right. It was basically Colin Kaepernick's contract. No. Can you I mean, think of any other quarterback in history that... Went to a Super Bowl and then couldn't get a job after going to a Super Bowl. Is there anybody? You know what I mean? Like once it's like kind of like an academy. I, There's I things that happen in life, like, like a cat man. Maybe yeah, but here's the deal. Kaepernick is broken though. He, right? he went what six years is what he had in the league. In a short period of time, he had what a Super Bowl appearance. Two NFC championships, championships, like just exploded like yeah. a superstar, mm-hmm. bam. And then Jimmy Harbaugh left. The team started dwindling, mm-hmm. and he, t- he, you know, he starts taking a knee because he, I don't know exactly why he was taking. And he's not the first sports person to take a knee. Right. Like there was people taking knees years and years ago. It just wasn't this publicized. Right. Social media wasn't. But there's right. cameras at every angle on the field now. Yeah. You know, everywhere. I mean, you got cameras in the pylon. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You got a string going across the field with a camera on it. Yeah. You know, you got everybody. Everybody. That has camera phones that are in the audience. So you're looking at, you know. And this all, and honestly, it really blew up once Donald Trump started running for president. Oh, yeah. That's when, it all, that's when it all started going. Because Trump, I don't know why, but for some reason, he still has to talk about sports. He has to bring sports into politics. Well, here's a little side note on... You just tweeted on, yeah, Donald, on, on Donald Trump. He just tweeted the, the... Donald Trump's talking about the FBI director, James Comey. Mm-hmm. And saying that he's a liar, and this other person that didn't take notes, what are we gonna call them? Fake notes, you know, like during a tweet. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're talking about collusion inside your government, but yet here's something that has nothing government related, and there is collusion going on right now in the sports world that he caused. That he caused. That he caused. He had a. He didn't cause it completely. Oh, well, he did. But he had a massive, he, huge. The moment he said, "Fire those sons of bitches!" Right. And all that, he and caused don't get me it. Wrong, I'm not a Trump <laughs> supporter. I don't like Trump. Nothing about Trump. Right. He's turning the Oval Office into a reality show. Right. With everything that he's doing, it's like tune in next week. Okay. Who am I firing <laughs> next? You know. I mean, come on. But him, but for him to say that and then get into the sports world with his tweets and his four o'clock in the morning stuff. And I just want him to do his damn about job. I, I mean, it's I just like, like God, dude. Like, just shut up. Like, comb your hair, put your tie on in the morning, and go to work. Like, leave everybody else alone. I don't see how he has time to be on Twitter this much. Well, he has a guy doing. it I know for that, but I'm saying yeah. like, there's other issues. That, that guy needs fired. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear your comments on. Who do you think should sign Kaepernick? Will he be back in the NFL? Will he be back before Johnny Manziel, who just got married, correct? Yes, he did. Running down South Showing Beach. Showing some maturity, maybe. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. While still out, a, kind of. He needs to be like in Idaho training. He doesn't need to be in South Beach, <laughs> the cocaine capital. You know what I mean? Like oh, That's why you got in trouble. Lord, so right. anyway, uh, tweet us what you, what you think as far as this whole... Uh, Kaepernick, Manziel, and who will be back in the NFL first. Uh, And don't forget to subscribe. We're coming right back at you. Three Point View after this.